And if you choose to look half glass full and go micro about the things you can control versus waiting to react to the things that you can't, all of a sudden up pops a rose out of the concrete. That I don't think a lot of us like what we see. And I think a lot of us want to see um, a, a more honest, equitable and fact-based world. The, the issue is right now we're in the place of blaming everybody but ourselves. Yeah. You know, right now we have enjoyed, like watching people blame Facebook as an empty pipe and and thinking that is any different that like, like it's amazing to watch the surface level conversation even by deep intellectual individuals that don't have any, that have not gone past, if Facebook disappears off the face of the earth, it's laughable that people don't understand that humans intend to communicate what they want to communicate and more importantly, humans deciding to see what they want to see, whether that's on Reddit or a forum or search engines or a one-off website. Or Fox News. Or Fox News or CNN or, or News Nation or, the, or their neighbor's opinion uh, or during a coffee conversation. Like this is the greatest era of lack of accountability and, uh, and we're gonna have to go through that pain. Yeah, and the question is how can we, how can we resolve it? And I, I don't know the answer to it, um, but we have well, to. Well, I can tell you one thing. It comes far more in the sense of dialogue than it does to cancel culture. And right now we're in a place where people, politically in the US, but I, but I want everybody who's listening because it's a global audience to understand, this is to me not a Donald Trump, Joe Biden conversation we're having. There is enormous movements to nationalism and different conversations all over the world. Back to the place I come from, Eastern Europe is going through a very intriguing transformation. My homeland of Belarus is doing the reverse. They're trying to push out their dictator of 26 years. Yeah. Uh, and then there's just a million other variables of, meanwhile, you have an entire Gen Z world that is feeling connected to each other in a way that we've never seen before. You've got blonde girls in LA in love with Co Korean boys that are look like you know in sync and you're leading to just incredible dynamics yeah. And I think here's where I wanna go with it, which is what's the positive of this, which is the following. If you're able to understand, and I think everybody should get this book because I've been following, as most of you know, I don't consume things, I consume people consuming things. And the sheer joy and value that Guy's program has brought to the table over the last four years to, to the masses and to people I respect, um, and just his background and communication style has me very hyped for this book. So I think everybody should go and get that guy. When does this come out? Comes out September 15th, available Vayner. everywhere. So like, like you always know Vayner Nation with me, like I always say, buy it before the date it comes out. So go to Amazon or wherever you want right now and, and get it. But I think, I think, believe it or not, 99% of the world is seeing this. 95% of the people around you right now are seeing this as doomsday and I'm moving out of the country and we're all gonna die. And this, mm -hmm. I view it as ungodly levels of opportunity for you to bring happiness to yourself or to your children. Cause think of it this way. If a communication infrastructure has come along in your lifetime that is able to completely disrupt the universe in that there means to be so much opportunity. And if you choose to look half glass full and go micro about the things you can control versus waiting to react to the things that you can't, all of a sudden up pops a rose out of the concrete. And I hope, and I hope you can get that from the last seven or eight minutes instead of where I know 98% of the minds went. Yeah, I, I, I love that.